so we are now looking at uh, network layer uh, in the internet before I move ahead just a quick revision how things are built up here so out of the syllabus you have a physical layer which is taken much of the toll then you have data link layer in the data link layer you have those error correction code in the protocol you have uh, a different kind of a things in the network layer for part one you had uh, uh, the routers and those kind of things so network layer packets router data uh, layer was uh, how uh, connection is going to frame frame control traffic control and so on and and now we are going to look at uh, more aspects of data link layer we have not looked at transport layer. let me see if we have transport layer there yeah so then it would be transport layer technically these two layers come after transport layer but they have given this after that so moving uh, data link layer to the internet so for I move there let's see what we are expecting to see here so in the network layer you have uh, uh, control operate the subnet deciding which path the data takes and so on so that was part one which was based on router as I just told now we are moving to part two so data layer in the internet so network layer in the internet network layer layer 3 in the internet so I talked about the IP protocol uh, in contrast to TCP the connection less type of service operates a third layer of OCI reference so this is prior transmission no logical uh, connection is needed this type of protocol is suitable for direct transmission it does not need connection the IP a uh, datagram has a header of 20 <coughs> byte fixed size and a text of variable option the header of ID is depicted in figure 1 so 32 bits IP internet protocol header so internet protocol is in network layer of the internet which is layer 3 so data encapsulation adds IP uh, header to the data IP header consists of uh, 32 word 60, uh, 60th word attributed uh, uh, to IP option field the difference IP header is given below version 3 of this used to keep track of version protocol uh, the current IP version IP4 to that header line so this is all in uh, the network layer you have uh, IP addressing IP4 addressing subdate congestion control and quality of service if I move just above then I was having the router kind of a thing so this is again a heavy layer doing a lot of things so IP4 a lot of it is seen <coughs> in the configuration so IP address IP4 addressing subnet subnetting for IP4 addressing so this is the IP protocol if congestion control traffic management consumption prevention and quality of service concepts so that is network layer so mind you quality of service was also there while we were transporting the data in one layer down in the data link layer so while we were transporting data here in data link we have those uh, CRC and all those things don't get confused with the network here quality of service so coming back version IP keep track of version 4 internet header length indicates the length of the header uh, version IHL type of service total length identification DM FF fragmentation offset source address destination address option so you have version IHL type of services total length identification DM FF fragment offset time to leave protocol check header sub so destination address option option so zero or more words so this is 32 bit then this is 32 this is 32 so you have got one two three four five six option destination address source address version is the header let's look at what all those means so a uh, version refers to the so yeah here version refers to the IP protocol used to keep track of version of protocol the conversion before IP header length Indicates the length of uh, the header in 32 bit field, the minimum uh, is where applies to find type of service. Type of service indicates subnet mask, uh, reliability, and speed. Uh, total length uh, has got data. Graph. The identification, which is uh, DF, means do not fragment, or is more fragment. Fragment size, the elementary fragment size is 8 by time to live counts as expression in second, the zero in a packet is discarded. Protocol indicate destination. Header checksum verifies header only. Header checksum verifies header only. So this is tell the network host number option. Then we have IP4 addressing. So this is the IP protocol. How we are going to do that? This is a, a, a third level of. Uh, oh, yeah, so don't get confused here. We are in the network layer. We are in the IP protocol. We are looking at uh, 
IP protocol. Now we are going to look at IP addressing. So the internet become now we'll understand how interpret the internet address. And it has the two parts. So the two parts together make 32 bit long IP address, which we'll see in subsequent discussion. It may take the form of 197.23.27.0. You have IP for the uh, uh, addressing break 32 bit long. Write decimal equivalent to each segment. Separate the block. So 192.168.10.25. So first you write 192 IP address in decimal notation. So three. So we have the IP address 32 bit dotted decimal notation. This is all fixed in zero byte. So on counting the decimal, we have two five five two five zero. Putting into dotted decimal places, the dotted decimal fixes is right. Two five two zero. Prefix is dotted. Now classification of IP for unicast, multicast, and broadcast. So uh, you have an IP address. Uh, you have a website that has an IP address. Now you want to make sure is it a unicast, is it a multicast, is it a broadcast? Internet address of fully classified interface which is based on number of bits used. Class A is an 8-bit network for those uh, bit is zero. Class B is 16-bit for network address for address. Class C reserve IP unicast address. This is meant for smaller network. Class D defines IP multicast address. Class E are reserved for experimental use only. So class A octet octet octet. Class B class B class B. Maximum number of host nodes is 2 to the power 24. To the power 16 to the power 8. Number of possible network 2 to the power 7. To the power 7. Then we have class D. We have subnetting for IP address. What passed here? Internet scanner model. So we have subnetting. So that is available. You may have confusion that ready to do it, which comes from point two. But it is not the condition because of suppose a medium size class B. Use population that is 16. So this means uh, subnetting. So that is uh, subnetting. 192.168.10.25.8860.192.168.80. So the we were binary here. So bit representation class C network. And you have congestion control, general principle of congestion, control, increase of traffic management. So connection admission services, to uh, lambda packet per second on queuing theory, the average router capacity. Then congestion prevention control, detailing transport layer, transport uh, traffic uh, shaping, uh, leaky buffet, the token bucket algorithm, quality of service. Quality of service demand the capable network to provide predictable services on various technologies like ATM, Ethernet. So we may use this thing. This is your traffic to computer network or your priority or computer network. Quality of QoS network is a valid respect to traffic priority. Uh, the conventional internet protocol cannot uh, tolerate packet loss, but a sensitive way. However, most real-time applications and the basic QoQ architecture, QoQ concept, concession measurement, QoS measurement, link efficiency, and end-to-end QoS performance token network. So that was the IP4 uh, addressing in the transport layer. What are IP4? Discuss the format of IP. We discuss IP along with classification. How does IP protocol work? So whatever you get in terms of IP protocol, so let me start with where you have to go. So network layer, you get IP protocol, IP ad for addressing, IP addressing, subnet IP addressing. You have to write about uh, IP protocol and talk about subnet in little detail. So you will first write uh, about IP protocol, your version, IHL, type of service, total net, identification, DMF, fragment offset, time to live protocol, header checksum. Third is like still the header, source destination option zero or more words. So this is the IP header. In the IP4 header, you have to talk about IP address is unique about internet and so on. So 32 uh, bit address into 8 bit blocks. So 8 4, right decimal equivalent to that. Separate the decimal and the IP structure. Then you have classifiers of IP4. Then you have internet address are uh, classified into four classes, class A, B, C, D, E, octet, 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 number of possible networks, 7, 14, 21, 24, 16, to the power 8, <coughs> this decreases, this increases, class D followed by 28 multi-class address, 1, 1, 1 reserved. Then you have subnetting, over the past interest become Requires it was for this. So we may also use technical subnet to actually divide address space allocated to organization different user divided among different organization. Therefore, subnetting is the process that which address space unicast address prefers. The fixed portion of unicast address as defined, the variable is not defined. 
uh, in order to implement you need to follow some guideline assess the number of subnet requirement after this subnet valid IP will be defined estimate the number of hosts for error uh, determine the new subnetting addresses uh, right and for subnetting so class C network bit repetition address range so 210.10.0 211198195.255 So this is the bit representation you have this thing which you can still submit. So if, if you look closely here you have 21948 and 21195.8255 So a logical comparison between 32 IB and 37 is performed it gives then you have congestion flow. Subnetting is something which is not clear so we will look at that again.